hey I'm not feeling too good um I just put dinner in the oven and I finished the name of the wind before I started dinner so what what it's like 8.05 right now so yeah finished the name of the wind and yes I did finish paragraph 3 of my research paper what I'm killing it today and I got the bookshelf and we got it put together and everything like I told you guys and I moved all the books I wanted to move out there out there um, I did keep quite a few of my books that I've read inside because some of them are favorites um, but also some of them have are like ongoing series and so I want to keep them in here until I finish the series and it's completed and then I'll move them out there well certain ones like I'm keeping all my Fallen Kingdom books in here because Fallen Kingdoms and then all my Sarah J Moss and then Harry Potter is staying and then probably the Lunar Chronicles will stay fangirl and carry on are definitely staying um, and then Nevernight is staying for sure and so is the Felicia Day book that I have because it's signed and because I love Felicia Day with my entire being so and then my house and night of course because I'm reading that right now and then of course the split world because I am obsessed with that series <sighs> is it June yet because if it was June then I'd have the fifth book and I'd be so happy I really want the fifth book you guys like, if you haven't read The Split World, you need to go read it because it's fucking fantastic. It's such a good series. Like, it, I marathon that series, and I don't marathon series. So if I do, you know that shit is so fucking good. So, yeah, I read the first four books, like, in a month, <laughs> and it was great. Um, but yeah, you guys should read that. You guys should also read The Name of the Wind because it's pretty fucking good. I put it as a five stars on Goodreads, but if I'm being honest, it's more like a 4.75. Just because the first 170 pages are like really tough. But then it gets so much better, especially once he gets to university. It's like, oh, the university is the best part, I feel like. So yeah. But I'm excited about that series. I need to get The Wise Men's Fear, but. I need to buy it and money right now because I'm trying not to spend any more money because I need to use my money to get the cabin fixed up because we still need to like block off parts of the roof that aren't connected completely to the wall basically and then I also need to get some rugs to put in there and we need to get all the spider rugs out of there because that's scary so it needs to be like cleaned up really well and then we also need to um then of course i need to buy my desk which the one i want is like 89 dollars, but it's so nice and i want it it's gonna be great so and then we're also gonna run a cable out there so that i can have like a fan and light so i'll need to get like a floor lamp like one of the big ones that'll like light the entire place up and then i'll probably get another one to put on my desk like a little one i don't know something like that so yeah, that's the plan. So right now I'm kind of trying to save money to do all that. So no more books for now. Plus I just ordered like eight from thrift books for like $30. So, and I went to Books Million like last week, but that my dad gave me money to do that. So that was different because he wanted to, he wanted to help the cause for the books because my dad is great but anyway last night i had like a really bad migraine and i'm kind of feeling like one's about to be coming on it's not feeling too great and my head was starting to hurt so i went ahead and like took two crooked music because i'm like i'm not going through this shit again so hopefully those will keep any of that away and i don't but i don't know my head just feels really heavy and it hurts to move a lot and I feel really overheated, like I was gonna take a shower. Um, because I had some time before I have to flip the food. Uh it's in the oven, so it's not like I'm leaving the stove on it to it. Um but no, it's like, you know, you need to flip it halfway through. So I was like, oh, I have like, you know, 15 minutes, I'll take a shower, wash my hair. 
do the things I need to do, but I got in there and I could not do it because it's, I feel so fucking hot. It's so hot and I can't take a shower when it's hot. I, just, mm, I need to be like cooled off, so that's what I'm trying to do is get cooled off before I take my shower. So I'll probably take it after me and my boyfriend eat dinner and watch our episode of watch an episode of Castle. And then I'll take my shower and then hopefully I'll be feeling better. So, yeah. I don't think I really ate a lunch. Did I eat a lunch today? I don't think I did. I don't really think I ate lunch. Maybe that's why I don't feel good. I don't know. No way. I remember I did eat. What the hell? What's wrong with me? I don't know, but it's weird. Mm. But yeah, I'm just really excited because I finished The Name of the Wind and I feel super accomplished and it's great. Um, but yeah, my next read is probably going to be The Mime Order since that's quite a bit different than The Name of the Wind um, because I don't want to read The Black Prism right now because I feel like that's going to be extremely similar. Not really extremely similar, but you know what I mean. It's in that same vein of, like, the fantasy realm. It's, like, got the powers and that kind of stuff. I don't know. I don't know. I just feel like it's kind of... That would be too similar and I'd be getting confused. But the Mime Order, I know, is, like... Com- like, because I read the Bone Season at the end of March. And it was fucking fantastic. And I'm ready for the next book. And the Mime Order is, like, over 500 pages. So it works perfectly and I'm excited. And, like, I just, I want more Warden because he is a fantastic being. And I, like, really like his character. He's super interesting. So I'm excited for more of him and of Paige. And, honestly, I'm really excited to see more Jackson because he's just so complex. Like, I feel like there's a lot more to his character than we know. And also Nick. I want to learn more about Nick. And I want to see if, like, his little crush that he has on that one guy. I'm trying to remember his name. Felix? Is Felix his name? It's something like that. If that pans out, or what happens with that? Because that'll be interesting. Um. Yeah. But I'm just interested. In but after that, I really don't know what I'm going to read. Like, I'm probably gonna read um of the first volume of the full metal alchemist because i have the like one two three volume bind up so i'm probably gonna be reading those volumes in between these big books but i don't know what big book i'm gonna read after that probably run i'll show you guys oh um, it's probably gonna be this book right here let me show oh it's so heavy this book it's this big um But it's the third book in the Faithful and the Fallen series, which I love and I'm obsessed with. Um, I read the first two books, and this is the third, and then the fourth is over there on my shelf. Um, But yeah, this third book is like 700-something pages. Like 750 or something close to that. So yeah, but I haven't continued on, and I need to... So this has to happen. Like, I don't care what else gets done, but this has to happen. And I would read this next, except that after The Name of the Wind, there's no way that my brain is going to be able to handle this. So that's why I figure reading The Mime Order in between will be best. Even though The Mime Order, like, the whole, like, that whole world is very complex too. (laughs) I'm just all about the complex worlds and magic and all those things, but you know whatever i could also read blood promise instead in between these because it's over 500 pages and those books are so fast and easy to read and it's not that complex like it's pretty simple to get so i might read blood promise at some point during this readathon because it'll be a quick read but it's still over 500 pages so i don't know that might happen um it's on my TBR, but I don't know if it's actually going to happen. Breaking Dawn's on my TBR, too, but I don't know if that's going to happen. I really do need to read that, though, but I just have literally no motivation to read Breaking Dawn at all. Like, I've read the other Twilight books, but I haven't read Breaking Dawn, so I just have no motivation to read it. Because I've seen the films, and I'm just like, I don't care. 
but I should care because I need to I need to read the book and see the differences because I'm sure there are some and yeah so ooh, I gotta go and turn my chicken so I will catch you guys up later probably tomorrow because I don't know how if I'll do any reading tonight because I'm kind of done I read a lot of the name of the wind today and I'm just tired and I'm just glad I finished my first tome so yes rocking it out okay I really gotta go and mess with food so I'll talk to you guys later